Hi friends, welcome to English English Classroom. Today I am with SLC English Unit 2 The Frames, Lesson 1 Project Tiger, Part 2. Yes, you remember the first part of the article, don't you? You remember that is an extract from Satyatra's memoir, Childhood Days. What was it about? It was about making films with the animals. And you remember, he pays his reverence to Hollywood. Who are the animal actors, Mr. Girl? Come on. Red Tinting and the Lassie. What are special about these actors? Some specialties were the first, they were skillful or skilled. And second one is the as famous as the real film stars. Next one is they earned as much money as the man actors and last one is they were famous because of their skills now very good you know all these things very nice shall we move on to the next part you have seen some of his Hollywood experiences he shares with us some films or some scenes from some films that he had watched when he was a child does he have more such experiences? Were there any bird actors? We came across animal actors. Were there any bird actors? Please look at the picture. Right. Right. Listen carefully. This not this camera and this uh, background. This one. This man. Okay. Same. But there's a chain. You know this one. Uh, another picture. What is this? It's a bird, you know. And what are the children doing? And uh, what's the bird doing? And uh, what is she doing? What you see there? It was taking place the first three pictures. Uh, the setting of those pictures is, you know, a studio. Then what's the dog doing there? He is standing on his uh, palms and uh, his knees just like uh, an animal next what's in the last two pictures I have seen uh, some children and what are attacking the children some birds you know yes those birds are ravens right now can you imagine training ravens they think it is easy to use ravens in a film what do you think? You can have your own uh, girls and your own uh, responses, right? What might be the difficulties faced by Hitchcock in the shooting that film? Serious. Those two pictures, the last two pictures are still from Hitchcock's film, famous film, Birds. Then what might be the difficulties faced by Hitchcock in shooting that film? Okay, we can read the next part of the article. We can learn everything about it. Yes, don't forget to read with me. I realized how reverently I realized how reverently these animal actors were treated when I happened to see the shooting of a film 20 years ago in Disney Studio in Hollywood. The main character in this film was a large dog. I reached the studio to find that the shooting had not yet started. A cameraman was getting the lights ready. It is customary for actors to be present when the lights are arranged, for they have to show the cameraman how they will walk or where they will stand in a particular shot. In the case of very famous stars, this job is done by the stand-ins. A stand-in is usually a person who is physically similar to the real star. The stars themselves arrive only when the lights are ready and it's time to take a shot. Here in Disney studio I noticed that a few actors were moving about in the set and on one side standing quietly was the protagonist, the same large dog. The cameraman shouted to everyone to take their position but the dog remained where it was. This puzzled me. Could it be that it was not required in the next shot? 
Before I could ask someone, a strange thing happened. From nowhere appeared a little dog, followed by another man carrying a hairy dog skin. Then to my perfect amazement, the dog went down on all the fours on a chalk mark on the floor, just like an animal, and the dog skin was draped over him. Then he crawled from one mark to another, and the cameraman got busy with the lights. It finally dawned upon me that this dog was paid to be the dog standing. Every animal in a Hollywood film is well trained. It is not difficult to train a horse or a dog, but have you ever heard of trained ravens? Not just one or two, but nearly a hundred of them. Even this was made possible in Hollywood and the creator of some of the best suspense films in the history of cinema, Alfred Hitchcock, decided to make a film called Birds. In the story, birds from all over the world start attacking humans. Hitchcock needed a variety of birds, but what was required in the largest number was ravens. Notices were placed in the press all over the United States asking people to contact the filmmaker if they knew how to get hold of trained rabbits. Someone replied within a few days. He was asked to bring his birds and he arrived with almost a hundred trained rabbits. Admittedly, their training had not gone very bad. That is to say, they could not do anything that might be seen as extraordinary. But if as many as 50 ravens are taught to perch quietly in a row on a specified spot and if they obey this command instantly, isn't that pretty invasive? Okay, yes, there should be a space for it. Right, I think you might have read with me a very nice, interesting uh, uh, explanation is there, account is there. Now, let us try to answer these questions. How were the animal actors treated in locations? Come on, yes. Reverend, you have got it. What is taking place in Disney Studio? We got the name of the studio, that is Disney Studio. Why was the dog the... He was the standing for that protagonist, a large dog. Why were the actors asked to be present early in location? You know that. Come on. Cameraman should know how they would walk or they would uh, where they would stay, just like that. It is the very simple. Who are standings? You know, it is the which animals can be easily trained. Okay, hmm. dogs or such animals. It is the horses with it is the and that means tame animal. What was the scene intended with the ravens? You know. What was that? Come on. Yeah. Hmm. Birds all over, from all over the world, attacking humans. But especially about it hoax birds. Okay. In it. Yeah. He, uh, there were ravens, hundreds of ravens yeah. attacking humans. That is one of the best suspense films. You know that, right? Okay. Now, yes. Let us know more about the article. What are these paragraphs about? Before I could ask someone, a strange thing happened. Why was it strange? Why does it say it is strange? Even this was made possible in Hollywood. What does this stand for? Why does he say so? Okay, we can read the story again silently, not the important words too. Right? Right, yes, I think you have got it. Right? Now, please try to answer some simple questions, right? How do or how were animal actors treated in Hollywood? They were treated, come on, reverently. And when did he see? A good example for it and work 20 years back in which studio? Disney studio, right? Who was the main character in that film which was uh, shooting the a large dog? When 
Satyatana reached there and the shooting started? No. What did he see there? The cameraman was uh, getting the lights ready. And what was it customary for actors? It was customary or it was usual for actors to be present when the lights are arranged. Why? Because they had to show the cameraman how they would walk and where they would stand in a special in that a particular shot. Okay. In the case of famous stars, who did this job? It is done by standing, you know, standing, right? Who is a standing? A person who is usually physically similar to the real star, who is uh, just as a uh, have the same, almost the same appearance of the film star, right? Then, when would the real stars arrive? They arrive early when the lights are ready and uh, it is time to take a shot. Nowadays, what did he notice there? He noticed a few actors were moving in the set. And what was the protagonist uh, that Lord Dog doing? It was standing quietly. What the cameraman shot for? To take, he asked uh, the actors to take their own positions. Did the dog uh, uh, obey that? Uh, obey that command? No, it remained. Uh, so that puzzled him, that uh, perplexed him. Right? And what did he think then? Sometimes it was not required in that shot. Then a strange thing happened. What was that? From nowhere a little dog appeared and a man followed him carrying a hairy dog skin. Then what the dog do? He went down all, all the four just like a, a, an animal and the dog skin was covered over him and he moved slowly from one mark to another and the cameraman started uh, taking shots then what did he dawn upon him uh, at last that dog was paid to be the dog stand okay here we can see that yes even the animal actors had standings right now, how are the animals in a Hollywood film? They are well trained. Is it difficult to train a horse or a dog? No. But what about uh, training ravens? Is it easy? No. It is very difficult, especially when a large number is required. Then uh, it was, uh, this was made possible in Hollywood. Who made possible and which film? Alfred Hitchcock in his film Birds. What's the story of the bird? Story of the film Birds. Birds from all over the world start attacking humans. Hitchcock uh, uh, needed a variety of birds. And uh, what was required in the largest number? It was the ravens. How did he manage to get it? Notices were placed in the press all over the United States asking people to contact the filmmaker if they knew how to get hold of, how to obtain trained ravens. Okay, yes. Then someone replied and what did he bring? He brought hundreds of trained ravens. What about their training? It was not so bad because they could obey his command instantly. Command uh, the, the command was to perch quickly in a row on a specific spot. Okay, right? Thank you, dears. Now let us see. Try to answer the scaffolding questions. You can do it yourself. Just a seat. Does the second paragraph introduce a new topic sentence? If not. What supporting details about the animal actors of Hollywood do you get from this paragraph? Okay, yes or no, am I right after reading it? 
and uh, you know it is the uh, so I'm not uh, telling it and after writing you may verify your answers comparing it with those given in the notes right next one what additional information do you get about standings what is the puzzling incident described in the paragraph 3 which incident shows the animal actors in Hollywood were treated with reference reverence or respect okay write it and you can do it yourself right and after that come by the answers with sample answers given the notes what were the difficulties Alfred Hitchcock had to face while making the film birds how did Hitchcock manage to get a large number of relevance for his film what described as pretty impressive right you have to do it and after that come back it certainly you can do and uh, you can correct it or no you can uh, uh, refine it correct it your answers will be right you can refine it comparing with the uh, sample responses given in the notes okay now let us discuss the paragraphs in detail before that let's see the words reverently means respectfully treat means to regard or behave towards in a specific way customary means habit right Treat or right? Now, see, I realized how reverently these animal actors were treated when I happened to see the shooting of the film 20 years ago in Disney Studio in Hollywood. Listen, please. He understood how the others treated those animal actors respectfully. When he happened to see, when he came to see, Kana Nidayai and Aprayotin Arpato, happened to see, happened to know, Arya Nidayai, came to know. Then I'm uh, informal little look, we use like this, I came to see, I happened to know, just like that. Kana Nidayai. The shooting of film 20 years ago, when was that? Uh, 20 years back, were in Disney Studio in Hollywood, right? Let us see the Disney Studio. The main character in the film, who was the main character? I laughed, have you got it? When uh, Satyata reached the studio, the shooting uh, had not started. Cameraman was getting ready the lights. Okay, getting the lights ready. And it was the usual practice that the actors uh, would be present when the lights are arrived. Because there are four means. This four means because or as because the actors have to show the cameraman how they will walk, how well they will stand in that particular shot. In the case of very famous stars, this is done by their standing. Who is a standing? He is usually a person who is physically similar to real star. Physically means shaririga mai, that means here in appearance only, card say. Right, he is standing. The staff themselves arrive only when the lights are ready and it's time to take a shot. You got it right. Real stars arrive only when everything is ready and it's time to take the shot. Right now, this is the Hollywood studio seat. Okay, yes. Now the next paragraph. See the words. Set means scenery for the for a film. But cinema not a kind of pinamburana style. Protagonist the principal character, main character. Puzzle perplex answer for the laga. Recall here it is. Sorry, it is a. Uh, it can be verb or it can be uh, adjective. Here it is adjective. Yes. And uh, I put it here because uh, in another place you can see uh, 
it as verb but here it means this meaning is uh, for adjective necessary atyavashyamaya right when it is verb that means needed right needed or demanded just like that okay short means a single piece of film uninterrupted and interrupted by cut and dwarf you know person who is mortally small he said dwarf amazement astonishment alpudangeta oru parapadishikatha oru karyam undavumbol alpudan astonishment drape verb to cover crawl move slowly with the body near the ground don means to appear right here once again you have to get the clarification require it is adjective adjective then only necessary and the meaning is necessary and obligatory and there is uh, on a, uh, we can see it another place in another place the required this verb require 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 that means need or demand okay now read it here in this studio i noticed that few actors were moving about in the set the when he's uh, reached there he could see the actors they were moving in the set and one said that there was the protagonist the lord dog was there it was standing quietly it was not moving right the cameraman shouted to the uh, actors to take their own positions but the dog remained where it was this perplexed as satyatre or it confused archer for patlaki could it be that it was not required in the next two uh, next shot the short la adinu roll in lee enna the chindichu i think you got it here required means uh, not required he was not required this can be a uh, verb or uh, adjective that is uh, that means he was not necessary uh, the or he was not needed he was not it was not needed in the next shot right okay before i could ask someone a strange thing happened something happened for never appeared a little dog uh, he he couldn't understand it dog appeared uh, suddenly or unexpectedly followed by and then another man carrying uh, a hairy dog skin reached the then his astonishment the dog went down on all the four that means on his knees and palm he uh, stood the hands and just like an animal the dog skin was covered over him then he crawled moved from one to another then the cameraman got busy with like he started taking shot finally he came to know that this dog was paid it to be the dog standing dog dog was the dog standing okay this now let us see that part It's 
finally dawned upon me that this dog was paid to be the dog's tattoo. Okay, dears. I think you got it. Now let us move on to the next paragraph. Last paragraph. The words raven. I told you, a large bird of crow family with shiny black feathers and rough and pleasant crying. Get hold of to obtain. It is admittedly as I know it to be truth. Satyatil. This say, uh, means satyatil. That is to say, in other words, or that is adayad. We use this one. to give clarification or explanation extraordinary not ordinary that means far more than usual or expected perch means to land we have studied it in the first unit and pretty that means to a moderately sufficient or extend uh, or degree that means very amali alavolum nishida alavolum nishidamaya that it can be and impressive means making a strong or vivid impression madipundakana right Now we can see every animal in the Bollywood film is well trained. All the trained down, you know, and it is not difficult to train a horse or a dog. Simple. But you have you ever heard of trained ravens? Not just one or two, but nearly hundred of them. Even this was possible in Hollywood. The creator of some of the best suspense films, you know, our suspense film. Uh, we have discussed it in the last class. You remember and. Uh, he uh, alfred hitchcock produced many suspense films and when he decided to make the film called birds that made possible that means which made possible uh, hundreds of ravens were trained to act in a film right and in that story birds birds from all over the world start attacking human man right and he took we can let us see that one He took neither the variety of words, different types of words, but what was required in the large number was the events, right? And notices were uh, to get them. The note he placed notices in the press, in the media, you know, that is uh, in papers. He gave advertisements all over the United States, asking for people to contact the filmmaker, contact Hitchcock, if they knew how to get to hold of or obtain. Uh, trained ravens, and someone replied within a few days. And uh, Satyendra asked him to bring his birds. They arrived with almost a hundred trained ravens. In fact, truly, their training had not gone very bad. That is, they could do anything. Uh, they could not do anything that might be seen as extraordinary. That is, that is why he says so. That's what not so bad. अत्र मोशा आये थे ना वो जो शार लेंगे मोशा आये थे ना ना क्या है ना साधारण साधारण आये तो उन चीजों पर तू लेंगे लोग but if as many as fifty ravens were taught to perch quietly in a row when uh, those ravens were fifty ravens were asked to uh, sit on a quietly in a row on a specific spot they obeyed the command instantly. at the moment whenever the command is given he is in that pretty impressive it is in it uh, impressive to a certain degree right okay dear now it is very clear i think this is raven and this is alfred hitchcock let us watch uh, the part which is mentioned here from the film birds
it is a thing you watched it now let us revisit that is you know alfred hitchcock's problem was to collect ravens to get a hold of ravens how do you manage to get it you know placing notices uh, in the press right so what you have to do is you have to write draft to the likely notice that was published in the newspaper right now i am going to help you giving you some hints see what was the requirement of uh, each of what was his need these things should be included in that notice first you know a uh, requirement what was his need he wanted a uh, trained ravens or uh, hundreds of or uh, up to 100 uh, uh, hundreds of uh, that uh, uh, means uh, about 100 not hundreds bounded uh, uh, trained ravens why did he give the an advertisement to notice to inform uh, the people who uh, possess uh, the trained ravens and how many ravens did he want uh, more than 100 and what were the things that the ravens were expected to do hmm. i think you can guess and you may right that should be trained well and how much should he pay what the uh, award uh, will he give and uh, but uh, sorry what reward what award what reward would he give and uh, where was the shooting supposed to take place these things should be included i'll go uh, give you show you assemble uh, such advertisement minnesota state university has given this advertisement you see it is given here and uh, what is the requirement it is here and uh, what should be his qualifications and other things it is given here in a read and uh, to whom to contact it is given here and what is the last date it is the and who is giving the advertisement it is here in the same way you can write it that is wanted trained ravens wanted just like that and uh, you may write uh, uh, the famous filmmaker or director alfred hitchcock uh, wants hundred of our uh, trained ravens and in that way you can start begin you can make it as a sample and you try it yourself and i have given a sample in the notes you can come direct with that one right it is and you don't forget to uh, include these things that is you can give a title just like a wanted or trained uh, trained ravens wanted just like that and who is in need of them and what should he expect and uh, next whom to contact and uh, what reward can he expect and when does uh, he want the tour take it all these things should be included and who is giving the advertisement all these things should be included that you can do it uh, and after writing you can see the model advertisement or other sign out model a sample advertisement given in the notes okay now the next activity is a simple one let's begin this article with the topic sentence no one can be to hollywood when it comes to making films with animals in the can is substantial race argument with the evidences provided by us you you have to write only you have to pick up two uh, evidence evidence mean tell you you know it is the you have to write those sentences that will do you write it after that and the with answers given in Uh, the notes right the main ideas even animal actors in hollywood have standards and a great reverence was given to them as famous actors you know he shares an incident with the shows which shows that animal actors in hollywood were treated with reverence alfred hitchcock desired to make a film called birds in which i is small letter d yes, in which birds from all over the world start attacking humans he placed notices in the press all over the united states asking people to contact the filmmaker if they knew how to get hold of change ravens okay yes now i think you got you enjoyed today class today's class 
and thank you for watching not attached meet you again till then goodbye